does Battlefield 4 have too many weapons? We know it's always a hot topic in the community as to what weapons are being added to Battlefield games next, whether they're new ones we haven't seen for a while, or returning favourites from the previous games. Currently, Battlefield 4 has 84 primary weapons, 16 assault rifles, 12 carbines, 14 PDWs, 13 light machine guns, 8 shotguns, 8 DMRs, and 13 sniper rifles. That's a lot of weapons to choose from. Everyone has their favourites and everyone has ones that they hate, but on top of those 84, do we really need any more? And looking forward to the future, should the next Battlefield game follow the same path or refine its selection? Today, we're going to play both sides of the argument and then I want to get your opinion. Firstly, I'd like to make the point that with 84 weapons as a primary in the game, DICE and dice LA have done an amazing job at balancing all of them. I don't think there are necessarily ones that stick out like a sore thumb as stupidly overpowered, and I don't think that there are any that are stupidly underpowered either. The more weapons you add to a game, the more you need to consider when offsetting its statistics against others. For example, weapons like the M416 and the Ace-23 are similar in gun mechanics but still offer unique benefits and weaknesses. But while the balance is very good considering the amount of weapons on offer, there is a downside to offering so many. A lot of them get forgotten, or at least don't ever see the usage that others do. I mentioned the M416 and the Ace-23, undoubtedly the most used assault rifles in the game, massively overshadowing guns like the SAR-21 and the FAMAS. For me, I want each weapon to have a pull towards it, a want for me to use it. And right now in Battlefield 4, that doesn't appear to be the case. Lots of weapons, although well balanced, are too similar to others and therefore the ultimate result is that the more well-known weapons end up getting used and there's no encouragement for people to use others. Something else that I think is important to consider is the way weapons are distributed and allocated in the class system. In Battlefield 3, the PDWs were all kit weapons. In Battlefield 4, DMRs were removed from their previous class, the Recon, and added as all kit weapons alongside the Carbines, which replaced the PDWs. Shotguns also stay as all class weapons as well. This decision allowed any player in the game to obtain a high-powered, semi-automatic weapon and play in a marksman role rather than with the weapons allocated to their class and driving them to play in a specific way. Now a lot of people might have applauded this decision, giving players the right to play however they really see fit, but I think personally it was a bad decision. It allowed assault players or mechanics to change their standard engagement range close to medium with their PDWs and assault rifles to long range with a DMR. And the other way round, carbines, as they were all kit, allowed recon players who were limited to sniper rifles in their own class to take fast firing, fully automatic weapons into close range engagements, changing their role completely from reconnaissance and long range support to aggressive frontline reinforcement bringers with their spawn beacons and scanners. By allowing so many weapons to be available to all players in the game despite the class, you remove or at least lessen the defined roles of the players in the game and you end up with players being out of their usual positions doing things they wouldn't normally do. Essentially, you can classify the issue as allowing players to circumvent the objective and play out of touch with the game. This wasn't always the case, but it can be achieved with these weapon grouping decisions. But to go on the flip side though, we can look at the issue as, well, a non-issue. You could argue that the more weapons that are added, the more variety you're giving the players who brought the game and giving them perhaps different ways to approach situations that they couldn't have done before those weapons were added. This leads me on to the opinion that there's at least one weapon that suits every player. And I agree, there is. 
Silent sniper rifles, bullet hose LMGs and cartridge fed LMGs, burst fire assault rifles, semi-auto DMRs. There's likely at least one weapon out of the 84 primary weapons in Battlefield 4 that is bound to suit the playstyle that you like to play or that you like to create and therefore adding more will give more players more options. If there were less weapons in the game, then you remove some player's ability to play how they want to, or how they've become used to. And so, at the end of all this, I want to ask what your opinion is out there. There's a link to a straw poll in the description of this video, asking you whether you think Battlefield 4 has enough weapons, it has too many, or if you want more. I know it'll be a split opinion, but to be fair, I don't think there is one right answer here. There are many different ways that you can go about balancing weapons in games, adding new weapons, maybe even taking away weapons to try and make that balance as good as it can be. But all the same, I would like you to cast your vote, so go to that link in the description. I'd like to see what people think in general. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know some more of your thoughts down in the comments, as well as answering that poll. Of course, the poll is very limited. I'm only giving you three options there. So if you've got something more substantial that you want to say and, and really do want to give your opinion, make sure you leave a comment today. And while you're down there, drop me a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.